it's not every day you go out on a limb and uh, try to build something you've never built before and you're gonna do it from scratch so I've taken this put it on paper And with the help of mega containers of balsa, we're going to build one of these guys, probably maybe give or take three foot tall. So we'll see how that works out. My plan here is to build uh, four sets of everything I'm going to have on each page. I've got about four pages of papers that uh, will sh will basically give us the build of the whole entire model. So I'm going to build four of this entire side, basically cutting out little pieces to go in every little spot. It's going to be extremely uh, time consuming, but that's worth it. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to build four of those, and then I'm going to go up to the next section and build for each of them basically it'll be for each side of the tower and then we'll go from there what I've done is I've assembled my uh, tools that I'll be using a lot of the push pins plier grips my super glues my marker pencil and I just got this uh, device here Midwest products easy cutter this is a beautiful tool it'll cut on angles you just adjust the little screws there and twist the little heads in either direction or whatever if you want to cut any of those angles got an extremely sharp blade on it that cuts through balsa like there was nothing and it cuts really nice sharp straight edges I've begun by uh, doing a couple of these railings, or I guess we call it the first level. So I've got the railings going together a little bit at a time. So that's uh, what we got going there. What I've done to make the assembly of these rails and everything else yet to come is I glue the transition pieces in the middle to one side then I come back with my super glue and I'll do a little dab of super glue right there right there and we're using the super glue liquid and basically it, the liquid being a liquid of course it works its way right down in between those pieces of wood right there come on glue there we go and we can get a liquid to flow down between them like that and what happens is it dries nice and tight this one here I've already got done nice and solid stable the pieces are all good to go and then when I go about putting this together I flip the piece over so that I'm trying to keep the shiny part of the glue on the inside portion so that you can't really see it so it kind of looks magical it's pretty good nice easy work right there Back in the days when I was a carpenter, we of course had chop saws, radial arm saws, table saws, and the whole nine yards. And uh, we always had to cut up a, a, a lot of different pieces that were similar, such as uh, these little rail pieces I've got here. So what I did is I took my cutters and I put my little micro channel lock grips on here. And what I do is I take that, like this, I will then use that little channel lock 
vice grip as a holding point so when I want pieces cut to exact length all a bunch of them just do like so channel locks vice grips are acting as my little stopper and now I get equal pieces cut when it comes to small pieces especially the bigger ones are you know no big deal I just mark them and cut them but in this case I get this nice little jig set up here and get a lot of good little pieces all identical so once again we'll take the little rail pieces here that we've pre-cut hold them in position like so do a tiny little dab of glue like so gotta be real delicate with this put another one on here yeah we gotta take a we gotta push pin and hold this guy down a little more so we're gonna just do this here that holds it in place another one there now we get a nice little tight joint right here we'll go ahead and hold that in place get a little dab of glue the glue drops down into position just like so makes really easy work push pins are good to hold everybody in place Need another one here to hold this end down a little more like so And that's the, the rail trick. Project of this scarf is going to have a lot of little pieces, so it's going to be a, or a lot of repeating of the same thing. But I think it'll it'll work out good. And we'll take the uh, bottom rail, get it aligned into position here, and pin the pins into place so it doesn't move around on us a whole lot push it tight against these rails take a couple extra pins here and push a couple of these into better position Get them all down there nice and tight where they fit just right. So they're all butted up nice and snug there. And we'll go back here and we'll take our super glue again. Just a tiny little dab, all it takes. And there we go. Let that dry momentarily. Got a little fan going over here behind me. A little fan. We'll use that to help the thing dry up quick enough. So now we've got the got a couple of sides here. We'll take these and we'll put that together like this. And that will give us our uh, first section of the platform and to work from there okay I got the rails all <clears throat> together I've got them all set up here in a perfect square I'm not going to bore you with a lot of the details as we move along I'm going to do sections at a time and just put the videos together and go from there but 
give you an idea of where this thing is and where it's going to go. Here we have one of the major supports for the first level. Got all the pieces cut and placed, got them glued in place. A uh, little tip, take a toothpick like this and slide it underneath. After everything's dried, you can turn the toothpick side to side. And basically what it does, it helps pull the balsa wood up and away from the wax paper without tearing the wax paper or harming uh, the work that you've just done. So you can just do this here and slowly work your way around. And what it does then is it loosens up the structure where you can pull it up. I'm going to leave the pins in place because I can use them to build a complete opposite for the other side of this particular uh, assembly. And then we'll go ahead and work on doing the uh, two side pieces for the base. Gone ahead and done some of the uh, detail. I got three of these main, uh, I could call them footers, support base done. Be finishing up this one here shortly. And then we'll get them together and assemble them with this uh, base here and go from there. Got the main base coming together real good. We got this uh, section here, which is the middle section. You'll see there into place. We're going to flip this over. It's going to sit on top of this. And then this section will then sit on top of that. These are some of the tools I've been using. And the glues for specific locations. Sometimes you need a gel, sometimes you need a liquid with a small spout, and sometimes you need a liquid with a larger spout. So uh, any and all of those, you know, come together in particular areas for uh, their specific needs. Okay, here we have uh, some sections. We got the base first level cap for the first level and now we're building the support structure for the second level getting those four things all together and then we'll build that little structure together and then stick it up here on the top there where we're at right now First level all done and looking really good. Second level's going together. <clears throat> Basically, it's been pieced. You got a cap there. You got the four sides here put together. That goes into that position there. This goes back there. And now we're working on the Final upper level. Got to build four of those. And then they will go up on top of this. And then we'll do some more little detail work. And that ought to get us uh, to the end of this project. Okay, I've got the four uh, top portions of the tower assembled. Quite a bit of detail involved in these. A lot of cross members. I put a couple of these little support braces in. One here at the bottom, one there at the top. Uh, to help keep the thing square. Because these have to be bent. Basically to fit with each other. So that goes there. And then this little guy goes up. 
disappear. Here it is, all complete. Turned out real well. And it's uh, about, about two foot tall. I was thinking maybe three, but it got to two feet. I would like to sell it someday, maybe. Yeah, there we go.